Hey guys, it's Caitlin here today and welcome back to another video. As you can already see by the title of the video, we are doing a little bit of a first impressions video for the new Sims 4 Parenthood game pack that is going to be released on March the 30th. Now, I have already watched this trailer uh, because I tried to film this yesterday, but I was having all sorts of technical issues with my recording software. And let's just say, by the end of the night, I was not a very happy Caitlin and I was not going to film when I was a little bit grumpy. So now that we, uh, you know, uh, had a good rest overnight and been able to calm down and everything like that, we're going ahead and recording this video because I feel a lot better now that it is all fixed. So yeah, like I said, I have already watched this, but we're going to... Uh, Sorry, yeah, we're going to go ahead and watch this together again anyway, because I'm sure most of you guys have seen this anyway. But for the purpose of the video, we're going to go through and watch it again. So yeah, here we go. like cancel that really quickly um and go back how do we go back i'm like an amateur at this guys but okay so we'll go back to the let's pause that we'll go back to the beginning of the video uh so we saw some new interactions there loads and loads of new build by bird items which i am super super excited for i think that's probably what got me super excited for this pack because everything looks so amazing um and yeah, we have some cute new little interactions with the toddler, with the parents, and the teenagers and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, let's just kind of go through and look at different scenes of the video. And take a little closer look, just pull things apart and stuff like that. So first off, we've got this toddler, the very first thing we see. And we can already see that we've got like a new little jumpsuit here with a new shower curtain behind well we don't know it's a shower curtain in this scene but we'll see in the next scene anyway that it is indeed a shower curtain so if you just drag that along to here now i am very very excited for this picture here because already we've got so many new items we've got like a new uh sink we have a new vanity mirror uh, a new wall cabinet it looks like we've also got a new curtain up here off the side, uh, a new, possibly this is a bathtub with a really large curtain or it could be a shower or it could be both combined I think. That's quite nice as well, I do really like this. I hope it also comes in some other fun, uh, fun patterns apart from the elephants but it's super cute, uh, makes a very nice kids bathroom as well. We have this new little uh, bathroom cabinet here. And off to the side here, it looks like we have a new hamper, a laundry hamper there. I'm pretty sure we do get a closer look at that later on in the video. We also have some new wall tiles, which I'm not too sure if I'm like keen for those or anything, but perhaps if they come in maybe like a black and white or just a white or just a black color swatch, then I might be into it. Um, but yeah, I think, I think so far, so far so good because we've also got a little kitties rug here which possibly will come in some uh, plainer colour swatches as well. I have actually been wanting more rugs for a bathroom because I find that it's so limited uh, for the rugs for the bathroom. And we also have this here which looks like a little uh, side table perhaps or it's like a little cabinet 
Uh, not maybe not on a side table, but you know what I mean. And looks like we have a new cloth item because I do remember seeing this in another scene of this video. Uh, also, this new sink. I love this new sink. It's really really cool. I think it's going to be very versatile, uh, especially if you want to use it um, with some of the dined out items, like when building a kitchen. Possibly, you could have an industrial looking sink like this. Um, and then we also have these clothing that the mum is wearing and I'm gonna say it, she looks like a hippie mum in these clothing. Um, you know, a nice little cold shoulder. I'm not really too into this um, outfit. Like, I think possibly the shirt could be nice depending on how you style it and what color swatches they offer. But other than that, I'm not too keen on it here. I do like this, however, uh, it's very, very cute. Also, I do like how they've got this hairstyle. It really, I, I don't know. Look at that, they're matching. It's so cool. They're matching. Anyway, let's continue on to the next section. Okay, let's just stop here right here. This is just cute. That's the only reason I wanted to stop there. Okay, moving on. Now, we have a bedroom. And there is so much items in this room. It's like, I don't even know where to start. There's so much stuff. So we have some wall posters and I am assuming these wall posters are the same item, just in different color swatches. Uh, we also have a couple of wall decals. So we've got a, a hoot, a hoot. No, we've got a hoop here, a tree branch here. And we also have these really kind of funky um, guitar neck decals with um, some patterns in them. And I think that's quite cool. It's very nice if you got like a musical teen or something like that. Uh, looks like we've also got some of these um, science projects out on display. Whether or not uh, you can interact with them, I'm not too sure. Or these could just be clutter items. I also do love this little mess here, this little clutter item mess. Uh, like, honestly, this is really realistic. This is something that my room would have looked like when I was a teen. I would have had so many things lying around like this. Uh, what else is here? We've got new beds. Now, I'm very pleased to see new beds. Even though we've got plenty already, you can never get enough. So, this one here is really nice. I'm, I actually do really love this one. I feel like this one is nice as well, but maybe not on this color swatch. Hopefully, they offer some nice, plain, kind of sophisticated, I guess, color swatches as well. Um, and also, what's great is we've got some more one-tile desks. Because uh, we only have one so far in the game that came with City Living and it's great that they've added another one tile desk here. It's going to be very useful. It's nice as well that it doesn't have the hutch either on it because I think that's what stops me using the desk from City Living. The one tile desk is it's got the hutch and I don't necessarily always like the hutch. So I do quite enjoy this. Um, got a new mirror. We've got a new... Uh, I don't really know what this is, but we've got this thing. Uh, we also have some new curtains here, which I didn't notice at first. Um, I only noticed them like later last night. Uh, and I think, I think, I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong, but I think this is a new window. I'm hoping it's a new window because I really like it. Um, and I swear I haven't seen that in the game before, otherwise I'm pretty sure I would have used it before. And I love this as well. We've got some twinkle lights, which are really, really cool. I'm pretty much pointing out every single little thing in this room. But honestly, there's so much to love in this pack that how can you not, like, point everything out? So, yeah, continuing onwards. Uh, so, if we just stop here. Well, look at his face. I don't know why it just looks funny. But, yeah, if we look here. We have acne, so it looks like we've got a new skin detail for teenagers, possibly young adults as well. Um, and in the background here, you can also see we've got a new little lamp, which is very cute. I quite like that it's transparent on this uh, shade area. We also have these, which I didn't point out in the last photo, but they're like skateboards for the wall, which are quite cool as well. Uh, new clothes as well, obviously. I think this is possibly a new hairstyle on this dude. Um, and so this set of drawers as well, I think that's new as well. I'm pretty sure that's new. Okay, moving forward. We have this scene. It looks like they can 
I'm gonna say these guys are twins, but it looks like they can get into some disagreements. I mean, what siblings don't? Um, and obviously these guys look like complete polar opposites. He looks like he's a bit of a rebellious kid. He looks more like he's into sports and all. Uh, some neat clothing items, I think. I really do like this and I'm not too sure what's happening with his outfit but I do actually like his jeans there. Uh, and then we also do have this next scene. The mother walks in and she's, she's looking pretty annoyed at her kids there. Pretty annoyed indeed. Um, oh look at that, we've got a new bookcase over there and a new door as well. Uh, that's cool. And I would love to use that door as a wardrobe actually. And if we pause quickly on the mum with her angry face, she has a nice little new hairstyle. I really love this hairstyle. I am hoping that this hairstyle comes uh, for children as well because I really do like it. Although we do already have something similar to this for children, I think, anyway. So it wouldn't matter too much, I guess, if we didn't get it. Um, oh, he's got some acne as well. I did not notice that. Okay, so let's continue onwards we'll just stop in this little scene because i think this is kind of cool that we've got this little hair uh this little uh thingy hair uh, because it kind of does show that he's a little bit of a um rebellious teen it looks like they have a bit of a potty mouth in there um and they could probably be uh disciplined for that because he looks like he's quite happy and he does not look happy so perhaps he's gotten in trouble for picking on his brother um this room here okay now this is what oops we're not far enough okay so this room is what got me super super excited um because honestly there is so much in this like i know i said with the last room there's so much but in this one there really is so much you don't even know where to look first there's so many new wall items we've got um, some more paintings over there on the purple wall and on the yellow wall, we've already looked at the skateboards um, on the green wall. We have new sofas and couches. We've got new, um, what do you call them, bedside tables. I'm not sure if those are new lamps. I don't think they are. I think they're a base game lamps, but we also have some toy boxes, some building blocks. We've got book caddies there. Uh, little craft kits on the floor over here for the kids um, and it looks like we have I don't know if this is new or this is the craft table that we already have in the game I think it may be the one we've already got but over here we've got like a little building station um, and we have another little station here for building a little purse I'm not sure if this is um, interactive it could just be a, a clutter item but there's so much stuff. There's also like a new rug as well, which is really nice. So yeah, there's so much stuff and I'm so, I'm like, I'm honestly looking forward to using all these stuff, especially this coffee table because it is massive. I don't think we have a coffee table this massive. I don't even know if we've had a coffee table this massive throughout the entirety of The Sims games. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pr pretty sure we haven't. I think it would actually be quite a cool idea as well if they adapted this idea for a table and we had like an eight seater table. That would be pretty cool as well, I think. Okay, so let's just go onward. Uh, Dad looks like he's giving a little bit of an encouraging word to his daughter who's a little bit upset, calming her down. Also, I love this shirt. It reminds me so much of High Five. High Five was my jam when I was a kid. I loved High Five. Um, <laughs> I especially loved Kathleen, she was like my favourite. So yeah, this little station here, we had the little house being built. Uh, on this station here, it looks like they're doing some sort of science project. Um, I would say this is what they use when they do their science projects, um, like these boxes here. Like, I think these are school projects, because I did watch Delegacy's um, reaction trailer for this one, and she read out the little description on the sims uh, forum or something like that and it did mention that kids can bring their projects home to build on uh, you know build for school and stuff like that so I think that's what they're doing there just working on a school project uh, little daddy daughter bonding time it's nice 
And this is quite cool. We have all the little inventions. What's our first invention here? Oh, so it's like a little church castle thing. We have a, I think this is called like a Tesla thing. We have a bridge here, which sort of resembles the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, I wish I could have gone there. Like my mum has been to the Golden Gate Bridge and in the photos, it looks really, really cool. Um, so here we have like a little, I guess, solar system type thing. Uh, there's no earth on it though. Why is there no earth? Like the main one is not there. Oh well. Uh, we have a little robot here. So he's kind of cute. He looks like he's made out of a spoon, a cylinder, buttons and a tin can. That's kind of cute. And then of course, we have the classic baking soda volcano. You cannot have all of these science projects and forget about the baking soda volca volcano. I'm actually surprised they don't have fire ants in here because that would have been quite cool as a little science project. Although that may have been a little bit difficult, I think, with all the ants like creating the animation. I don't know. I'm, I don't know too much about animation, to be honest. But yeah, let's continue onwards. So we also have this little invention here, which is like a water rocket. He looks pretty chuffed with the invention he made with his daughter. Um, and here we go, we've got another scene with lots of items. Most of these items we've already covered in the little past scenes. So in this one, uh, everything we've covered, we've pretty much covered this thingy here, this little caddy, this thing. We have a little, uh, I guess it's like a craft decoration. To me it kind of looks like a flower cake or like a flower pot made out of paper and popsicle sticks. Uh, definitely something I probably would have made when I was a kid. Uh, minus the flowers, it probably just would have been popsicle sticks to be honest. Um, we have a new fruit bowl, which I'm really uh, happy to see because we've only got like three fruit bowls. We've got the two um, plain ones, like you know, the normal ones. And then we've got the little gold one that came with City Living, I think, or was it Glamour stuff? I can't really remember, but anyway, we also have a really neat bread box, which is awesome because we had those when I was a kid. Um, I have a new dish rack, which I'm excited about. Uh, we also have this little plate, which is quite cute. I'm going to say that she probably did it, or it could have even been her when she was older. That's quite cute there. Um, and we also have what looks like a new sink over here. It looks like it's a freestanding sink. So that's quite neat. Um, and then of course, uh, I haven't mentioned the obvious yet, but we do have these new countertops. Now these are really, really cool. Uh, we look, it looks like we've got, they kind of look like timber, but at the same time, it looks a bit like it's a grain. Um, like a, a stone grain so I'm not too sure what texture that is but that's very cool um, I'm hoping that they come in some you know some more neutral color swatches as well just so that they're more versatile but I do really really like these because I do actually have like a CC item that's very similar to these which I absolutely love so I'm hoping that these come in some other color swatches as well and we've got them for the counter or the kitchen island as well, which is quite cool. Um, and you know what? The uh, one thing that I am uh, leaving till last, pretty much, is actually I will leave that till last and I'll go on talking about the other things first. So we also have like some wall cabinets here, which I assume is the matching to this and they come in different colours. Uh, we've got those tiles again and we have a new fridge and it has a little smart screen, so that's very interesting. We also have a dishwasher here, and the thing I'm most excited about in this little room here is this stove slash oven, because it's very, very retro, and I have been wanting a retro stove for so long in the game, because I don't know, I absolutely love retro stoves. I don't know, there's something that's so cute about them, I guess. They're just really nice, I think. Um, I feel like they're very like bubble like cartoon. I don't know, they're just. I, don't, I, I love them. I just love them. So I'm very happy to see this here, and I especially love that they've got this little detail like this writing because that to me is what makes it feel even more retro. We've also got a matching dishwasher, which I did point out before, and I'm guessing this fridge will also come in a matching swatch for that. If only this had like rounded corners, then that too, I would absolutely love that because that would feel very retro to me as well. 
Uh, so yeah, I think that's almost everything covered. We haven't covered the little dining set here. I think this, we've already got that. I don't think that's new, but this is definitely new. The table and the seats, those are new. And I think we've also got a new little interaction because Sims do not usually eat with little placemat setups as a family. And they certainly do not have their drinks with them either. They just drink water and leave all the cups lying around. But over here, it looks like there's an interaction to sit down as a family and eat together. Because we've also got like a little sippy cup is there for the toddler. Um, so yeah, let's hit play again. And this hairstyle, guys. I know I just, let's go back a little bit so we can see this hairstyle and it's full glory. <laughs> Sorry, her face looks really funny there, but her hair still looks absolutely beautiful. It is honestly awesome. It is like, there's always some items in a pack that wows you more than anything else. And I just really, 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 really love this hairstyle. It would be even cooler if they had this hairstyle with little butterfly clips, like back in the days, back in the 90s or when you guys, or the early 2000s, when people used butterfly clips, they were so cool. They were honestly so cool. And this interaction is quite funny. Oh look, we also have a new sweatshirt. But this interaction is quite funny because it's like the family is having a burping contest or something. Which is quite funny because I feel like that's honestly something that my family would do. Actually, I just want to pause really quickly. Pause really quickly. And we're going to go back to this scene here. Because guys, we have a new wallpaper in the background here. And we also have a new fireplace. So... I'm very, I, I, I'm honestly looking forward to those. And over here, like you can just see off the side, we've got a new seat. Now we do not get a proper view of that seat at all in this trailer. It's kind of something that they've kind of hid off the side of the screen in every scene it's been in. So I am looking forward to seeing what that actually looks like. But yeah, you just have baby to laugh along. Um, and of course the very light side. I'm going to use them in so many teens' bedrooms, like, honestly. Uh, so we have some more acne, um, a nice little hairdo. I really like that hairdo, to be honest. It's really nice. Some sheer curtains in the background um, and some more clothing. So that's something to look forward to. This family is very neat. I don't know, they're very diverse. Okay, so shape your Sim's childhood. Okay, so... We've got a little, oh look at this, that's like a new overall. Wait, do we already have that? I don't think so, that's quite cute though, it's like a new little overall set. Notice something different every time you watch the video. Okay, shape your sense to, oh yep. Okay, so, cool, so pretty much just the same as before, just on the little art table. I see, so, I see. Okay, here I was thinking, I've watched this so many times, but I thought this was like an art teacher or something and she was like thinking, like teaching her, but I've just realized now that they're like different stages of life. Um, Delagrissi did actually mention that in her video, I totally thought that this was an art teacher to begin with. Okay, personalize your household. And we got so many new items. There's the laundry hamper I was mentioning earlier. We have a cute little toy, I'm gonna say, that is. Um, we also have that bedside table in like this really fun painted um, graphic. I don't know, it's just really, really cool. Um, I will admit I used to paint my dollhouse like this. Like, I used to do it all the time. And then somebody bought my dollhouse and he was so annoyed, like his wife wanted to buy the dollhouse when we had a garage sale. And he's like, no, it's so dirty, it's got all this painting on it. But I was like, I painted that, thank you very much. But anyway, let's continue on with the video. Um, so this is cool here. It's like a new little interaction where she can play doctors and nurses with the bears. That's pretty cool. I, I honestly remember doing that when I was a kid. Um, I just want to quickly go back just a little bit because we have a new shirt here and I really like that shirt. It looks like this is a new, actually no, this is not a new hairstyle. This is the one, well it is new, but this is the one that was on the mum earlier, which is great to see that it also works for the teens. Uh, let's continue onward. Enjoy your family activities. Available May 30th. So that's it guys. That's pretty much my little... Uh, 
you know, my little review or first impressions on this video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. As always guys, I will speak to you all next time. Bye.